This video is going to help you with creating the female Automoblox figurine utilizing the loft feature that we learned in the last model. One of the things we'll take a look at is the geometry we have to draw and we're going to create a triangular base. So I'm going to use the polygon tool to create a triangular base and as I draw that I'm going to draw with respect to the origin and draw the shape out kind of like so. Right click and say OK to say I'm done with the polygon tool. One thing we'll want to do is when it comes to polygons there's not a lot of constraints on the polygons themselves. So I'm going to go to the fix constraint and I'm going to fix the center point of the triangle there and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to horizontally constrain this point to the center point there so that way the, see how the edge of this triangle goes vertically and then the two sloping edges will go out to the to the right there uh, connecting to the end point. I'll also go through and dimension this. This is going to be a 0.556 dimension as noted on the drawing and then we can go through and take a look at what what to um, encounter as far as that goes. So I can finish sketch. I'll extrude from before. I had a 0.3 extrusion on the last figure for the male figure so I'm going to keep the same extrusion there. I'll click OK and then they show that we're going to go through and we're going to create a new sketch on the top face of this and create an ellipse. So I'm going to use the same center point and draw out and go through and utilize it. So they tell us that it looks like from the dimensions 0.125 wide and 0.015 so here on the right side to go through and to take a look at that. So first off I'll use like I did on the last with the male figure I'll set in points along the edges in respect to the center point and we had a 0.125 there and then from this point, point 0.105 for that as well. So it makes kind of a circular kind of post uh, as it goes through here in the picture. So as far as the extrusion depth goes, it looks like we're going to have a point 0.19. It's really small uh, in the picture. So point 0.19 to go through and do that. So I, I kind of sized the picture up so that way I could see it so down here on this particular part but 0.19 is our extrusion depth and I'll go through and click OK. So again this is one of those cases where the dimensions aren't they're just kind of there's a guideline but they don't necessarily have to be there for something that we need uh, in order to create this part. We're kind of just making sure to learn the features and go from there. So as far as what we look at we're going to go through and utilize the loft feature to create three kind of ellipses as we go along and we're going to use the loft tool in order to go through and to make that happen. So as I uh, you know take a look at these shapes here I'm going to have to use a few different tools as well. So first thing I'm going to do and something that I'll go through and do with you guys is I'm going to kind of click on my view cube here to see if I can go through and I can always click and kind of pivot this shape until I get this kind of sh orientation here. So for me it shows like front, bottom, and right side and if I kind of click on the corner of the view cube there it'll go through and kind of appropriately, appropriately put it in the orientation we want. But as I take a look I'll go through and click on the little arrow next to this view cube. I'll say set current view as home and fit to view and then I'll also go through and I'll rotate this like like so and then that way I can go through and say set current view as front so and that'll go through and kinda help me set up my my figurine so the kinda shape of this sometimes with no more dimensions than they gave us it does look distorted at times as far as especially when we looked at it from the front view looks like it's off center but because of the shape we've got it's actually right here right in the center of the part so as I click on the home button I'll go through and take a look. First thing I'll do is I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this top face and what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to draw an ellipse to be about roughly the size that they go through and give us in terms of what we have. So I'm going to draw an ellipse like so and 
kind of keeping uh, it looks like we're going to go vertically like this actually and I can go through and kind of set in an ellipse like that so and I may want to go through and kind of modify it just a little bit and it looks like you know sometimes the dimensions they go through and give us we'll see what the, we go through and have so utilizing the points I'll go through place two points on this part here I'll go through and dimension looks like the ellipse at the hem point four which would be the minor axis so point four probably what they mean is point two so point four is probably the entire minor axis and then point six would be for the major or in this case point three so looks a little bit more appropriate there as well so it looks like on the drawing they're going through and giving us dimensions as it shows by the overall minor and major axis so this would go through and appropriately size it I'm gonna say finish sketch and then in order to go through and rather than extrude this or anything I'm gonna extrude up to the waist but I need something to create that so under the work features and go to plane and I'm gonna do offset from plane and then I'm gonna choose the top edge of my part what you're gonna do is you're gonna see an arrow with a little work plane and then you got a, a place to set a distance well how far I want to set that when I look at my figure on the drawing from this line up to the waist is 0.36 so I'm gonna type 0.36 in there I'll click the green check mark to set the work plane in there and then what I'll do is I'm gonna start a new sketch on this work plane same scenario I'm gonna draw an ellipse so draw in the same direction you know as far as but I'm gonna go just a little bit smaller so because we're going to be dealing with the waist of the of the of the figurine. So setting two points in there, we may have to go through and take a look to see. Uh, looks like uh, the ellipse at the waist 0.31. So 0.31 divided by two would go through and give me this, and then uh, 0.39 divided by two for that so the waist goes through and kinda has a little bit smaller just like how they show it there I'm gonna say finish sketch and then what I'll end up doing is I'll go through and I'll use the loft tool to go through and to create a loft so I'll choose the first sketch I drew choose the second one and it will go through I'm gonna use, keep it on join for this one here so as I took it take a look at the menu and I'll click OK now I'm done with this work plan so I can right click and say visit to uncheck the visibility and that goes through and kind of gets me that that shape there I can start a new 2d sketch so from here and then actually all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna project the geometry of the outside edge of this waist and say finish sketch since I already know that what the size of the dimension that is I'm gonna go through and do another offset work plane to go up to the shoulders and from the waist to the shoulders would be 0.34 so I'll click on this edge adjust to 0.34 hit the green check mark start a new 2d sketch on this one I'm gonna draw an ellipse so utilizing the center point and then going through the same scenario as what I did before going through and adjusting and dimensioning as I need so utilizing the dimensions on the sketch as they provide from the center point to the for the major axis 0.76 divided by 2 and then for the minor axis I will have looks like 0.54 divided by 2 I'll say finish sketch and then go through and loft these two sketches together just like how we did click OK and then I'll go through and can finish out and I'll hide the work planes on these particular ones looks like I do have one sketch that didn't get used so I can right click and delete it so that way it doesn't show up and this will go through and conclude all that we're gonna end up working on for the Automoblox figure but going through and showing you how to loft various ones and utilizing the offset work planes to help us with creating this particular object.